Commissioner Bratton, a low crime rate, and it's the best of times for police. Um, this problem with trust with African Americans and minority communities, the worst of times. Is this, uh, what kind of level of crisis do you feel as if police forces around the country are having? Well, I've been at this for about 44 years now, so I go back to the turbulence of the 70s, the, the anti-war movement, the civil rights movement. So what we're dealing with now has some similarities to that period of time, and we move forward. What we need to do now is try to find some common ground to stand on, to uh, find additional ways to collaborate. I share the Vice President's uh, words of optimism yesterday during his remarks, mm -hmm. the idea that uh, New York City, uh, the old adage, if we can make it in New York, we can make it anywhere. We will make it here, but it's going to be difficult. It's going to require a lot of hard work, a lot less rhetoric, and a lot more dialogue. You've used the phrase common ground a lot in your interviews uh, over the past week. What is that common ground? What is the, what is the foundation that you build? Common Ground, uh, there was a wonderful book by Peter Lucas that talked about the uh, school desegregation and housing desegregation crises in Boston that tore that city apart during my formulative stages as a police officer, sergeant, and superintendent of the Boston Police Department. And it was how that city ultimately came back together again after that incredibly violent decade. So I have that experience that helps to uh, in inform my experience here in New York informed the experience certainly I had in Los Angeles watching that city heal a lot of its significant racial divide during the period of time that I was chief of police there. The common ground here is really to, uh, one, as we've been doing in New York, deal with the demonstrations in a way that they don't turn into police riots, if you will, to allow some breathing room in the sense of allowing people to to demonstrate, to vent, right. and at the same time uh, showing uh, on the part of the police remarkable restraint in the face of great provocation. My cops have been doing a phenomenal job dealing with these demonstrations that you really have to be on the front lines with them to understand what they're dealing with in these instances.